it's logging on to my phone got another uh, job opportunities that keep it always sent to me right weekly I used to get a lot more than I used to than I get now it's kind of slowed down because I don't I'm not putting myself out there I'm not updating my resumes like I used to because I found a pretty good pretty good gig I'm go to email all right this is Bruce and I start this series where I what I do is I look at my go to my inbox on my phone here and I read different job opportunities and I do this for a couple reasons number one for newbies out there I want them to see like what kind of things that companies are looking for and for the more advanced people maybe this is an actual job opportunity if you actually are in IT and do risk management or do security type work this might be an opportunity for you so those two reasons um, I thought it might be helpful so I'm just gonna put it out there we'll see where this goes I'll keep doing these kind of things and I guess another thing is to show like what kinds of offers you get once you put your resume out there everywhere like I have okay here's one this is from this is a senior network engineer at Arlington I don't know why they send me these because I don't that's not really my that's not really what I do um, so I think I'm gonna skip this one I'll, I'll kind of briefly glance over it just in case somebody's interested and add it at the bottom but the senior network engineer um, and they're looking for somebody with a CCNP or a CCIE highly preferred but not required um, so that's a network I usually forward this kind of stuff to some of my network friends out there if, if I think that they're they fit the the bill on this one but this is in Arlington there's a lot of technical jobs in Arlington Virginia Washington DC that area there is like has so many job opportunities for pu public and private sector actually okay let's keep going this is not it's not really what I talk about those kinds of jobs security specialist okay we're gonna dissect this one is security specialist in Sacramento California so Sacramento is where I'm actually from and I don't really see a lot of opportunities in Sacramento I see them sometimes in the Bay Area but not usually in, in Sacramento and usually the ones in the Bay Area are from um, Google um, who else PayPal Cisco you know big guys like that or companies who are have subcontracts with those companies anyway okay so let's go through this it says I am a I am hiring a consultant for one of the client of my clients requirements job description for the name is written down below and if you find yourself comfortable with the requirements please re please reply back with your updated resume right to so give their number here the job title is security specialist it's interesting how many kinds of uh, what kind of titles job titles that they have out there it ranges everything from information assurance specialist to information assurance engineer to security engineer security specialist security analyst you know and there's really no rule that I've seen that kind of holds them all together you don't really know for example if you go down here it says main responsibilities they analyze well why didn't they call it a security analyst I don't know there's no rhyme or reason why they put those names out there I don't know if there's some kind of maybe there's some kind of standard I just don't know about anyway um, I think this is a private sector job and it says they they do a it's a six month duration that's a contract and they usually sometimes what they'll do is they either the contract is only six months long or they do six months to hire but they, they want the opportunity to keep you for six months to see if you're a good fit and if you're not then they'll hire someone else alright so mode of interview is phone or Skype that's kinda cool and you can actually be a foreign national or a citizen um, they, they want either a green card and EAD card which is um, employment authorization document that means that you're you're uh, you're doing an adjustment of status from a, from a foreign country and you're getting a visa or a US citizen and I don't know what TN or OPT is if you know what it is put it in the description below or in the comments below okay 
So the security specialist safeguards information system assets by identifying and solving potential and actual security problems. Okay, what do they mean by that? I think is explained a bit more in the main responsibilities of a security specialist. It says, analyze and establish security requirements for a system and network. That sounds very familiar. So that means like compliance type stuff and seeing if there's security issues on the network or the systems. Defend systems against unauthorized access and modify uh, access modification or destruction. That's like virus, malware, vulnerability scanning, stuff like Nessus. Things like that, I imagine, or or uh, actually probably McAfee uh, antivirus, something like that. Um, a lot of times they won't specifically tell you what products they use because they don't want to, they don't want to expose the client by because they're putting this job description out in the whole world, everybody can see it. So if a if a black hack hacker, um, somebody with malicious intent, sees exactly what kind of devices they're using they could target that organization you know okay so let's keep going here it says define access privileges okay perform vulnerability testing risk analysis uh, identify anomalies uh, abnorm abnormalities and report violations uh, oversee and monitor security administration develop and update business continuity and disaster uh, recovery protocols so yeah this is it's pretty standard, pretty standard stuff, and they actually do have familiarity with security frameworks such as NIST Cybersecurity Framework, which tells me they're doing a little bit of government type work. But some some private sector places actually do employ NIST stuff without having any kind of uh, connections with federal or state government. So, because uh, the NIST standard is actually it's open enough to where you could use it for a private organization. Uh, the risk management methodologies, HIPAA, PCI, NIST, GLBA, SOX, that's usually, SOX is usually for uh, banks, I believe. And that's compliance assessments. Uh, they talk about firewall, PKI, IDS, IPS. So they have a whole suite of things that they want you to kind of be familiar with. And what I've noticed here is normally uh, they they want you to at least specialize in one thing. Like sometimes you read through these descriptions and it sounds like they want you to know everything, right? But usually there's one thing, and this is why you have to do the interview, you gotta talk to them, because there's like one or two things that they really want you to know. And sometimes they'll let you get away with like being specialized in one thing, so you could at least do that. And then you, when you come in, you can kind of learn the rest, if it's that, if it's that simple to, to do. So some of the requirements that they want is a bachelor's degree of computer science, information technology uh, IT or a related field certification such as a CompTIA security plus a CISSP is a plus and um, other things technical skills and requirements for the security specialist is familiarity with um, with uh, programming and they mention a few C C++ C sharp Java PHP programming familiarity with Security frameworks, NIST, cybersecurity framework, risk management methodologies, PCI, HIPAA, and they already said all this stuff. Uh, PK, they're just naming a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> but normally they have like a few things that they really have, you have to know. And so what they'll do is you'll call this number. They'll they'll kind of screen you to see if this is what the client because they'll normally the person who's doing this email is a third party organization from time to time. You'll notice like the names are like dudes from India sometimes or from Pakistan or something. And the reason why is because they'll hire they being the company that actually wants to work. They'll hire a third party technical organization, not even a, like a hiring organization. And then those guys do the calls. And they, they give them like a basic understanding of what kind of person they're looking for. And once the hiring person screens you, you have to call them. They'll screen you, see if, if you're a good fit or whatever. And if you if you've kind of fit the bill, if they think that you're kind of in the ballpark of what they're looking for, that recruiter, that technical recruiter from India or wherever, and sometimes from the U.S., they'll forward you, they'll set up an interview for you to talk to like the manager or the technical people there. 
So you usually go through three different sets of people. A screener, who's like a third party organization, had nothing to do with actually hiring you. Then a manager, who wants to see if you are, if they can work with you, uh, if you're a good fit, if you fit basic, basic requirements that the contract actually needs, like do you have a degree? Do you have any idea what you're talking about? Like, because the manager usually doesn't know really what's going on from a in the grad in the weeds kind of perspective. Then you'll the third interview is the hardest usually, and that's the technical person. Like you'll talk to an actual technical person who does this every day, and they're going to ask you specific questions about the job, and you, then you'll get an idea of what they really want. Like, do they want you to know? programming do they want you to know NIST do they want you to know PCI Unix Linux because they'll know specifically what they're gonna have you be doing and so that's the person you, re you really have to impress and you have to bring your a-game to that particular interview anyway that that's it guys uh, this is in Sacramento California I'll put the link uh, description below now keep in mind that this video um, is done on what day is it, is it 14th the 14th is Saturday the 14th so by the time you see this and it's a year later they might be gone but you'll have contact information you might want to feel free to contact them maybe they'll have another job for you out there if you're catching this late but that's it guys I just want to give you an idea of what kind of stuff that we're dealing with if you have any questions comments uh, below that can add to this discussion let me know if you if you like this let me know I'll keep doing these kinds of things I always get these kinds of these messages if you're the employer contact me maybe if you have other, any other jobs I can do like this let me know and I'll I'll put and I'll post it all right see you guys later